Okay, I'm out really early in the morning because I've got to go see a dentist about this uh, cavity. It has been killing me for the past couple of weeks. But I've registered and I've got about 45 minutes to kill so I didn't want to wait at a clinic. So I thought I'd go look for a restaurant. But you wouldn't believe what I found on the way to the restaurant. Alright, you got to check this out. Now check this place out. Look at that lake. Honestly, I've never seen this before, but I think it was just recently made. Um, so comment below if you guys know about this lake. There's another place called Lubu Lake. Really nice what they've done in these neighborhoods. Seven a.m. sharp. Seven a.m. I decided to go look for something to eat after registering uh, for my turn at the dentist. This is just right behind uh, the Sunkurung Mosque. But C A Muhammad, it's been around since. Huh, look at that, 1939. That is insane. 1939. Um, geez, I can't even do the math. That's got to be at least 80 years. 60, 70, yeah, 80 years now. Coming, yeah, 81 years. That's been around for 81 years. And this is basically uh, a South Indian restaurant. But they've got so many branches. They're so established. And if you were born in Brunei and you grew up here, it's impossible that you would have missed going to this place. My favorite here at just about any branch that they've got is roti uh, or roti chennai with pretty much nothing on it but it has to have the signature dal or lentil curry uh, sauce. Okay and of course not forgetting to mention I need to have uh, my te tarik. I'm a coffee guy but whenever I come to a restaurant like this, a South Indian restaurant. I need to have my tetare. All right, and good morning to you too, kitty. Okay, now this is why I'm lucky enough to be here at seven o'clock in the morning before anything else disappears from here. So if you check out this place, this is the reason why this place has lasted in business for the past 81 years. All right, so check all this stuff out. So these are all the curries and gravy stuff. Uh, masala, that's probably the lamb. And this is the chicken. Yeah, but ayam kurma. Ayam masala, chicken masala. And this is chicken, huh? Ma chicken manchuria. And the good thing about this place is, it's not like most South Indian restaurants. Um, it is super clean and they've managed to maintain the price similar to what you would get over at uh, these uh, roadside Indian restaurants. So we're just gonna go over to my order and I need to start eating it before it gets too cold. Okay, so this is the roti kosom. And th these are the dal. Um, I only go for the dal or sometimes I get the kurma, uh, chicken kurma gravy. So these are all, these are basically just the gravy. All right. And these are basically my two favorites. So if you look at the way I do it, I actually do this. So this is called banjir. This is basically translated to um, flood. So I just pour everything out and it's flooded the, uh, the whole roti.
all right so get this this is 80 cents in Brunei at this restaurant it's pretty much the same price I would have to pay at a restaurant that looks far worse than this okay and this is my tetaric nicely bubbled now why is it called the tetaric it's basically just milk tea um, and it's been pulled from one glass to another I'm gonna see if I can find uh, get a chance to show you what it looks like it's pulled like a waterfall from one glass to another glass and the end result is that with all the bubbles all right and it tastes really really nice I think the only reason for them to do that the only reason for them to do that is actually to just cool down the milk or, or, or the tea so it's easier drink and you don't have to spend so much time in the restaurant so this entire meal is costing me $1.18 and I'm sitting at lucky number 13 one of my favorite numbers and that is my roti chana So it's got some fried shallots, uh, curry leaves, and I love the curry leaves. And there's some, um, uh, these are the shallots, all right? And there's some long beans, chopped up. It's thick, but not too thick. It still can run, and it goes down really smooth. So I've only got like 10 minutes more to go. So I'm going to continue eating and concentrate and most importantly, I need to go enjoy this meal before it gets too cold. Alright, so I'll see you guys later. This experience, as always, every time I come here, it has been awesome, it has been delicious, it has been a long time coming. Oh, and I forgot to add that the good thing about this restaurant is they are starting to hire a lot more locals and the reason why I found out in a bad way this morning when I got in here, I started speaking with the Indonesian slang. I was talking to the waiter, he's a really young kid, he must, he must have been uh, no more than 20 years old and I spoke in the Malay Indonesian slang the way we normally do with Indonesians working in Brunei and we have tons of them somewhere uh, in that conversation I picked up on his local slang Bruneian slang and I asked him are you local and he said yeah I'm local and I'm starting to see a lot more at this restaurant here or this this company CA Muhammad because uh, it's a good thing because there's really not much job opportunities in Brunei. Any opportunity from local business people that is extended out to our local kids, uh, our, our locals, is always a huge bonus and you get plus points from me. So support local, support your local restaurant, alright? Okay, bye. Kosong dang, ya. That's our ten dollar bill. Hello, boss. Sini lapan puluh. Nah, lapan puluh sih. Terima kasih. See, it was a dollar eighty, and it's very, very affordable. 745 right on the dot I'm back here and I just wanted to give you guys a little insight into Brunei's healthcare system it is fantastic definitely the best anywhere in the world especially if you are a Bruneian see look at that one dollar come on so I'm supposed to wait over at 8, 9, 
or 10. So this is the dentistry. So yeah, look, nobody's around, man. And it looks like I am the first one in. I've just met the doctor or the dentist. And he said, good morning. I said, good morning. And I think we're off to a good start. So I'm just waiting for my turn. I've got cat peace. So to you kids out there, stay away from candy. Um, actually, no. Enjoy life. Enjoy the best of life. But in moderation. Okay, it's 9.21. It's getting late. Uh, I need to go back and uh, relieve my brother Zach from mom duty. He had to skip work. But I'm all done. It's 9.21. I've been here for almost three hours now. And it went well. Uh, my cavity has gone right in, probably right to the, to the root. So uh, it, it was unbearable when it was scaling and drilling all that stuff out. So uh, he offered to uh, numb it out. So uh, I had to take uh, some, some shots. But overall, it went really well. Oh, I feel a lot better and I need to head off. All right, take care, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell right beside it and don't forget to like and comment and share, let the word out and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye bye.